at the heart of this beautiful and unique island of Great Britain, rich in hundreds of years of cultural heritage, with its collection of historic places, buildings, monuments, stately homes and museums, indulged by the fortunes of the British Empire, also keenly preserved by the British people of past and present, is a railway system which is the oldest in the world. The system, originating from the 1840s, started as a collection of local rail links, operated by small private railway companies. During the 19th and early 20th centuries, these rail networks joined together and a national rail network was developed. During the First World War, the government took control of the whole railway system and in 1923, four main rail companies were in place. The Great Western Railway, the London and North Eastern Railway, the London Midland and Scottish Railway, and the Southern Railway. Known as the Big Four, they remained in existence until 1948. Nationalisation amalgamated them to form British Railways. the town in Greater Manchester, England. Historically a part of Lancashire, it emerged during the Industrial Revolution of the early 19th century as a mill town and became prosperous due to its paper making and manufacture of textile. Passing through the mill town of Bury is the East Lancashire Railway, ELR. A heritage railway originally built in the 19th century. The rail line was opened in 1846 to link the Manchester to Bolton line with Radcliffe and continued along the Airwell Valley to Rortonstall. The opening of railways quickly led to a significant increase in the speed of transport in Britain. The East Lancs Railway is all about recreating the past. Um, we are what's known in the industry as a heritage railway so most of what we do is about trying to recreate a particular era uh, of railway history and that's the 1950s and 1960s so we're representing the uh, literally the end of steam locomotives on british railways and the beginning of diesels taking over um, the main crux of what we are is living history so we're trying to recreate as best we can how railways would have been in that that time so that's the type of locomotives we use the type of railway carriages we use and the way that we operate the system in terms of its infrastructure and its 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 signaling the east lancashire railway has lots to offer tourists you can enjoy a trip on a steam train through the beautiful picturesque ross and day valley Indulge in a nostalgic evening of food, wine and steam or even hire your own train. The line runs a regular weekend steam passenger service from January to November. There are also Santa specials in operation during December and lots more. To quote East Lancashire Railway's literature, a trip on the East Lancashire Railway is a journey back in time. East Lancashire Railway had a short but very eventful life. It only existed from 1844 to 1859 and in that time it linked Bury with a variety of local towns, Blackburn, 
Burnley, Colm, Rottenstall, Bacup, Accrington and of course Manchester. It also went further afield as far as Liverpool and Southport. It's perhaps best known for its ongoing dispute with the Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway, characterised in the so-called Battle of Clifton Junction in 1849. Both sides blockaded each other's lines with trains and it remains to this day the only battle in British history fought by trains. The railway line runs essentially through the Rossendale Valley uh, from Rottenstall in the, in the north uh, down through Ramsbottom, Bury and then out to Haywood. The line will eventually be extended out to Castleton which is another couple of miles where we will join up with the national network. The line of route is roughly 12 miles and runs through um, the picturesque Herbal Valley and through Bury um, and up through the um, more urban areas of between Bury and Haywood. East Lancashire Railway operates from Haywood to Rortonstall, stopping in between at Bury, Somersea, Ramsbottom and Airwell Vale. The picturesque countryside through which the trains travel is indeed a journey back in time. The hillocks, paddocks, rivulets, tiny forests on the journey are an incredible experience. The East Lancashire Railway has got 560 volunteers out of a membership of nearly 4,000. So it's a large proportion of the members who support the railway actually come and work. The majority of them, of the 560, are actually 61 years of age. So there are a few less than 61 and a few more than 61. We have some working members who are in their 80s and are still going out repairing the track and we have uh, some who are 16, 17, 18 years of age. <laughs> well, if it's the old thing, if you're doing the job, you should do it properly. And on the railway, we all try to look like railway men. That's part of the scene. East Lancashire Railway's footplate experience days provide an ideal opportunity to fulfil that childhood dream. Get behind the controls of a lovingly restored ex-British Railway steam or diesel locomotive, pulling a train of vintage carriages or wagons and enjoy an unforgettable experience. The participants can spend a full or a half day with the locomotives and options can include a guided tour and an afternoon lunch. So we're trying to, if you like, give a snapshot of how railway travel would have been back in the 1950s and 60s to the, the current generations. And um, we mustn't forget now that obviously the people that were familiar with railway travel in the 60s and the 1950s and 1960s um, are now uh, becoming of an age where they're perhaps wish, wishing to, to recreate the how things were for themselves when they were younger, perhaps travelling to, to, to work by, by train or travelling to school or even going on holidays by train. Well essentially what we've tried to do is, is, is latch on to an opportunity to, to promote the railway and also offer up an opportunity for us to generate revenue which is vital to keeping the railway going. So the Thomas the Tank Engine events are built on the um, the popular books when I was a child by the Reverend W. Audrey, which was um, basically making steam locomotives real-life characters for children to, to, to understand and to get, get to know about railway operations and those sorts of things. Um, our centre events are built around um, the, the ever-popular visiting of Santa for the children and, and being, being given presents during the... The, the Christmas season um, and both of those are, are, are important revenue generators for the, the railway uh, because without such events we wouldn't be able to continue to enjoy our hobby. Although railway heritage networks are a part of a country's historical significance there aren't many in the world. In this day and age to preserve something like this needs millions of pounds. Despite struggle, ELR keep intact the job of creating the past for people. Thus they become the original custodians of history. <laughs> <laughs>